Kurzanov. Kurzanov, yeah. He was the same dude, maybe. Is that the guy from... Uh, or he was, like, at least playing with Kipilov in that yeah. video. Maybe he does that. He and goes he around. Aria, like right? The, or Arya? Wasn't he? He might have. Yeah, I think so. Probably. He was doing the crazy over the hand. Yeah. Playing shit. Um, he might be one of those dudes that was, like, well-known in their country for... Studio. Just artists. Yeah, being yeah. on people's albums, playing the guitar. Fucking right. Frank. Let us know. Fill us in. Maybe we were wrong if it's, if it's a different dude, but yeah. say something oh god these guys <laughs> these guys i mean we just did a rem digger onyx collab right right how the fuck i mean obviously andy and uh, miyagi are like they're the fucking they the top of the heap that, yeah those videos were awesome but i'm saying like they're they haven't really collabed with any american Producers like that, you know, what I mean? at least well, I mean, or like recently, uh, legendary hip hop artists. We haven't been able to collab with right. the world, but it's just crazy because they're at like the top of the heap. I'd say, as far as Russian hip hop is concerned, yeah, but you know what I mean? we have no clue what it, that's that's what it is seems. too. There's a lot of things like a lot of artists even break in other countries and they don't end up breaking in the U.S. and shit. You know, what I mean? right, so we yeah. never hear of them. Or so, I mean, it's just we really like we really like their style, but they're not even famous in Russia. Right. They're like known as like a cult. Following. Yeah, like a cult Very following. Maybe maybe they're still bit, underground. A couple know? thousand people and whatnot. Even yeah. There's really a lot of there's a lot of great music like that. <clears throat> they have a very cult close yeah, following. Yeah, like 
is Hajime small. like a high standing? Well, you know, it, that's what it always comes off to because they have Russia? such a catalog. Like, does man. everybody in Russia know who Hajime? You know, I mean, these dudes are younger too. Indiana, you know, like Spiel, Haloy, I mean, you know, I say younger, guys. but you know, I think Miyagi and Andy were born in the early mid nineties type thing. You know, like, yeah, but still. Let us, yeah, let us know, like, because that's what it always comes off, because their catalog is so vast, they have so many people on their label. But in, in such a high production, yeah, too. Always. I was about to say that, too, like, right. and they always have their sound, especially yeah. if Andy or Miyagi's on the track, and yeah. they have, like, a feature artist like Loy on this one. Yeah. It's, it's always those fucking Sonics. Like, yeah, I've never really amazing. listened to a Hajime song where I'm like, and their bottom yeah, what is this then? <laughs> yeah, even the even the way their bottom their kick, yes, hits it's hard and, and it's clean. Trademark like the, that's their sound, because there's a lot of that in hip hop. But the, it just yeah, like you said, clean like yeah, there's nothing oversaturated. Let's hear this shit. drop now. <laughs> song a lot of their songs are about <clears throat> like inner kind of self-reflection huh kind of i mean they make you self-reflect you know the feeling of the vibe could be but we don't know what they're talking about family oriented well i mean we've heard like when they hit you with those like re reggae vibes in some of their songs it's like damn well because aren't they like miyagi and andy didn't we talk about that they have Rasta. Rasta lineage, you know, like. So it's, yeah. Fill us in. You guys always do. Um, another great song, man. <clears throat> For sure. I mean, honestly, when we were listening to Castle's album, weren't wasn't really feeling a lot, a lot some of those of tracks, yeah. you know. And it yeah. was, some of it was different, good. you know, like. It's not to say, you know, we're all... We're it wasn't just, anything like that. We're, that was... we're addicted to the Hajime, straight up Andy Miyagi sound, but no, like, we're appreciative of any... Just... Yeah, well, there was one of them good. that was, like, super yeah. repetitive. But it's not very, you know, like, it was... <clears throat> yeah, that Castle song was just, like, there was one of them, I remember, that we just... We were just waiting for some changes to happen and shit. Yeah. Or, like, something dramatic, I guess. <laughs> so maybe, you know, we are spoiled in a way. Well, I, but, I mean, yeah. It's just, what's good is good. We like what we like. And right. When we hear it, it's like, fuck, yeah, that's it right there. That's Even this slow, this slow like, syrup flow of a song yeah. was really cool to hear. You it's know the I mean? atmosphere of the song, too, that grabs you. Like, so it proves it can be yeah. done. And yeah, like some of those other, because I remember there was one or two of those Castle songs from that album. So we've done like three or four from that, I think. And I'm like, yeah, these fucking songs are great. So there's always going to be that. You know, there's always going to be what you're into. Something yeah. grabs you. Something and doesn't. Even if you as don't much, understand what they're saying, it's you, still magic. It, it, it could still get you. Yeah. 
and somebody else can completely connect to that Ooh. in a different way too. Andy Panda and <clears throat> Miyagi do it every time. Yeah. They're just really good. That's the beauty of songs though. Like there could be some where you just don't get it at first. Yeah. And then it just, you know, you just has to grow on you a little bit. But yeah, Andy and Miyagi, they're masters of Sounds and moves. Those fucking vibes. soundscapes and shit that they use. Yeah. Yes. The, the emotions they can bring out of you just by sounds. I mean, and no one does echo vocals better. Like, I, I, it never gets old. Like, where I I look forward. I want to hear those fucking vocals come in. I like the straight up approach. I like the straight up in your fo- face approach with no effects. But when the delay shit hits or the effect, the echo right. shit. At the right like, times fuck. and the cool times. Yeah. Perfect. That's fun. We're out. Peace. Till next time. Let me know if I fucked it up by pausing it before the drop.